I bought this retro arcade game controller uh, thing from eBay. Not quite sure why it's called that, but it's uh, basically a little device that's supposed to play retro games, but it doesn't do anything, apparently. So, let's pop some batteries in and see if that's true. That's not how you do it. Seamless. Nice. Right. On. Mm. Not doing anything. Nope. I forgot. Let's take this apart. I just started doing it. Not smart. I got a feeling this one been opened that doesn't fill me with much hope. Well, straight away I can see that that speaker isn't connected, so I was never going to hear anything. It looks like it's been ripped off the pad. Someone must have been in this before, because that doesn't just happen. Well, I don't know, maybe. Mm. Look under here. No, that doesn't look right. Yeah, the, the screen is not soldered down properly. And again, I don't know if that's because someone's been in here before, or whether that's just... It doesn't look like it's been very well soldered to start with. Hmm, I wonder whether there is something wrong with this and someone's taken it apart and damaged it in the process and thought, Do you know what, this thing is probably not worth repairing. Let's put it on eBay for some poor chump to buy. And the chump is me. Yeah, I mean, that's the switch, isn't it? The soldering on the switch doesn't look particularly good either. And this is the damage to the... yeah. Okay, so it's just lifted there and there, but it's also taken two traces with it here. That one's no connect. That one appears to be okay from there down. Oh, what what's going on here? That's completely broken. It sounds like it's been burnt. Yeah. Well, in fact, there's there's the leg. Okay, so that's some kind of transistor, isn't it? Right, my bet then is that this has failed and then someone's opened it up to try and fix it, broken the screen, <laughs> and given up. I've got a blob chip there. Okay, it's just so cheap looking, isn't it? Got a crystal. <laughs> what is going on there? And then that's the speaker wire and that's where the other speaker wire should be. I'm going to have to try and fix that. That one appears to be solid. Got a zero ohm. Let's check that. Multimeter in continuity. Yep, it's all good. Right, well, I think that's going to be the problem. Because obviously that's not doing anything now. Am I going to be able to tell what that is? 
I don't think I am. Let's try and clean it up a bit. I don't know, maybe there is some... Oh, okay, that looks like a J. Let's just turn it the right way around. Yeah, that looks like... That definitely looks like a J. J3? J3. J3 something. I mean, realistically, what's that going to be? So it does look like there is a J3 transistor here, but we've also got a J3Y transistor, which is looks like equivalent of an 8050. That's a 9013. Both NPN, I think. But if you look at it there, compared to the this chip that we've got, the 3 there is in the middle, whereas it's sort of in between the J and the 3 there. The 3 there is in the middle. So we've got J3. I wonder whether it's that J3Y. I'm also wondering whether it really matters that much. Do you know what? It might not matter because I don't think I'm going to have either of those anyway. I could probably order up one of each. Or ten of each. Let's take that old one off first. Right, well it doesn't look like there's any damage to the pads. And while I wait to decide what I'm going to do with that, I might just order a couple of different chips up. I think I'll tackle the other problems that are on here. So we've got the speaker problem first. How am I going to fix that? Well, I could just scrape away some of this here and attach it to there, couldn't I? Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Then I can just cover this in solder mask. Grinding pen. And welcome to my tutorial of how to make soldering look ten times worse. Right, I think that's completely burnt away there. It has. These tracks must be really, really thin. Right, so I need plan B now. That's a bit better. It doesn't look very pretty, but I think that will work. This is probably slightly unnecessary, but I'm going to put some mechanic UV mask on. Solder mask curing device. Right, that's that done. Let's have a look at the screen. I mean, some of these could do with a bit of a reflow, couldn't it, really? That one. 
I'm not even sure he's, he's making a proper connection. That's a no connect. Right, so we need to repair these traces here. How am I going to do that? Are those two connected together? I think they are. Oh, that's ripped, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think with some solder across there, that they'll be okay. That one I should be able to get back on. These two. I mean, in theory, I could just bridge those two together. And as long as one of these tracks is okay. Hmm. They are definitely joined together now, but that's not a problem. I'm not sure whether that's all. Let's give it a clean. Check with the multimeter in continuity. So from there, does it go down to here? No. Right, so. Yeah, there's still a break there. I mean, it's very close. I tried it a little bit more solder to that point there. I think I'm uh, ruining. I think I'm ruining the trace here. Might have to run a wire. In fact, you know what? I think I run a wire anyway. Yeah, let's run a little wire from here to here. Oh, I shouldn't have messed about with it. Right, let's just see if we've got the continuity on this one. Yes, we have. Right, so if I just solder these two together here, then that should be absolutely fine. It's not going to look great, but who cares? Check that. So from there to there, and from there to there. So those two are now bridged, which they were here anyway. I think that's going to be fine. I mean, it doesn't look great, but like I say, who cares? I'm not going to see this. I'll just go through and check that they're all making a connection. Nice. Again, solder mask is probably not going to make much difference here, but in order to make it look a little bit prettier, let's do it. Nice. <laughs> not nice. Right, I think to give this a bit more protection, I'm going to put some tape down over it. Because when it folds over, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really move, but I'm just going to put a, a layer of tape across there. Won't help. Won't help. It won't harm it. 
probably won't help either. There we go. I think that's better. Gives it a little bit more protection. Right, now I need to worry about that transistor donor that I've just put tape over. Right, I've just been looking at this J3Y, which is the one that I think it is. And it's an NPN S8050. And it got me thinking. I'm sure I've used something very similar, but with a different name. And sure enough, I bought some of these. Y1 SS8050 NPM. I think the only difference is the collector current. On this, it's 1.5 amps. And on that, it's 500 milliamps. Is that going to make much difference? I don't know. But I think, I think I'm going to put one in if I can find them. Where are they? They're here. Y1 SS8050. Yes. We've got loads of them. Worth a try, right? I mean, it looks like the right package. Yeah, you know what, let's do it. Oh, is it so wonky? Again, I don't, I don't suppose it really matters. I mean, at least my terrible soldering fits in with the rest of the terrible soldering on the board. Right, let's put it back together and see if that's made any difference or if I've just completely wasted my time. I think I put them on the wrong way. Yes, I did. I've just watched the footage back. That's what you get for not taking a photograph. Right, well it's cleaned up really nicely. The sticker came off the back nicely as well. Mm, is it going to work though? Let's find out. <gasps> Get in there! I did not think that was going to work. Oh, amazing. What on earth are these games? I don't know if these are like fake names for real games or... Matchstick man, let's just go with that. It's number one, so it must be good. Oh, it's like Street Fighter. <laughs> cool. Street Fighter, but with matchstick men. So I think these are these are modern games, aren't they? That someone's made for some stupid reason. Ha! Even though I won, those are stupid games. All of them.